Hi guys, this is 123 d Inventor, and my pop is going to show us how to use a tree faller. All the tools you're going to need, um, step ladder, eight footer, I'm a little bit shorter, you could use a six. The, the trimmer is optional, but you're going to need a chainsaw, and the extra blink, the shelving is optional, but good thing to have around, just in case you have to reset your jack once. And you need a drill with a bit in it for countersinking your hole because you're going to want to do that because the spike can be really hard to get out afterwards if you don't. And sledgehammer is optional to have around. I use the, use the framing hammer to drive the spike and I keep the crowbar around for pulling the spike out afterwards. Um, right now I'm going to cut down that spruce tree and it's leaning back towards our house. Not really hard. Probably could fall it without using this, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on that. First, I wanna get rid of all the limbs on that tree. Set the jack up, and the jack needs to be set up directly across from where we want to, want the tree to fall, which is straight that way. Keep that extra pair, that extra set of uh, channel around, because you never know if the ground's soft and you have to jack it too much, then you might want to put that in as a brace and lower the jack back down and wheel it closer up to the tree so you can get another bite and push it again because you're not going to want to go much past the red on the jacks or you're going to stand a chance of bending them so anyway normally put the jack bottom down someplace where I nice and stable flat Then, you're gonna wanna drive a spike into the top bracket. Normally on a spruce, I don't need to put in a counter this. with the birch, you'll definitely want to put in a countersink hole for the drill because they'll really be really hard to get out if you don't. And when you drive in your spike, you want to go up, up at a slight angle so that as the tree goes, gets back, it doesn't want to push it out. pushes on it it's gonna want to push it out now you want to get a little bit of tension on your jack make sure that you're nice and nice and solid I'm up against the mound here they're not hard to find in the woods Okay, I'll put a little bit more tension on this, just to where it gets to pushing it. All right, in the direction we want it to go in, just the same as you would normally do, not to fall in a tree. Everything else is pretty much the same way you would fall a tree, except that, as you angle cut it, you'll jack it to shift the weight in the direction you want it to go.
Oh. <laughs>